there were um, obviously several memories and learnings from my journey at CAM and before that at EMSS that I truly treasure. Um, and it's hard to pick one, um, in all honesty. But, um, you know, the fact that I just got the opportunity uh, straight out of campus to work in a best in class organization like AMSS and then CAM uh, is, is something I truly value and I think has helped me uh, in my professional career immensely. In fact, uh, it sort of laid the foundation for me in terms of understanding the practice of law and uh, more importantly, also understanding uh, how client service works which is also extremely critical and not something that we uh, get to learn or get exposed to in law school. I had the privilege of working with some of the best in the industry and each one had their own style. So I'd like to believe that I um, did my apprenticeship under some of the best minds in the legal services industry today. Um, one thing that I, um, you know, sort of really remember is, uh, you know, how Mr. Shroff particularly kept his calm through uh, whatever the, you know, intense negotiation or situation that we were going through. And very early on as an associate, um, I, I, I recall sort of just noting and being in awe of the fact that uh, how could, um, you know, Mr. Shroff being who he is, sort of keep such a cool head, uh, no matter what he was uh, facing from, say, the counterparty or, um, you know, the, the, the sort of adversary in a given situation. And that, I think, is a, uh, is a skill that one needs to learn and something I took away from, um, you know, my time at, uh, my, my time working with him. So that's one. Um, the other um, sort of learning, if you will, one thing I learned very quickly, and again, that's something that stayed with me, is that it always to be able to apply the law correctly, it's very important to know the facts uh, extremely well and closely. And that sort of uh, has a direct bearing on how well you can advise um, and actually deliver on a matter. Firstly, I think women make great lawyers. So um, you should not at all sort of consider yourself to be any less from your uh, male counterparts. I think we have great examples in the industry. That's one. Uh, the second thing is, um, you know, it's, it's important to just persevere, uh, keep your head down and uh, just doing what you do with, with full earnestness and hard work. It can be overwhelming. Um, to um, you know, sort of, kind of keep up to all the roles that you have in life, particularly as a moment as you go through different phases of your career, um, you know, either because you know you want to start a family or uh, you you have other responsibilities outside of your profession uh, towards your parents or you're a caregiver, whatever that might be. But uh, it's important to remember that. Um, you know, just kind of staying focused is important. And uh, there is often, um, you know, a, a feeling of self doubt that comes through, uh, whether you're keeping up with all the roles uh, with the same level of perfection or commitment. Uh, but you know what, it really doesn't matter because uh, life isn't perfect. And so therefore, do not beat yourself up for uh, not being able to you know, get that sort of um, A plus in every single role every day. Uh, you will have to make choices given the situation and, you know, what is it that you need your focus most for, and that's fine. The, the one other thing that I'd really want to share uh, with all of you is um, the, the importance of networking. Um, it's quite, it's not overrated at all. And I think it's important for, um, all professionals and in particular women uh, to network uh, across the industry amongst their colleagues, amongst their clients, peers, um, you know, basically as far as you can go, because um, 
you know, it's really true that your champions, sponsors, cheerleaders are right around the corner. Being in a global financial institution, I have had the opportunity to see women in several roles as bankers, as uh, in finance, as traders. Um, and uh, surprisingly, uh, the, the, the sort of issues that we face in, in keeping up with a successful, fast driven career are all very common um, and easy to deal with. Uh, talking and sharing helps in that respect a lot. So. That would be my advice to uh, all our women listeners. I've been with Morgan Stanley now five years, and uh, it's been um, very interesting being part of Morgan Stanley's journey in India in the backdrop of um, you know a market that is only becoming sophisticated, complex, and um, you know sort of seeing a lot of new products and different types of uh, transactions. Um, I have actually been able to use my skills uh, as a private practitioner uh, quite well in this role, but I've also had the benefit and the um, you know benefit of getting the insight of what goes into the decision making process when you're on this side of the fence. Uh, something that you know we may or may not be able to see very clearly. Uh, as external advisors, but that has been um, a, a very interesting learning for me um, at Morgan Stanley, and um, um, I continue to, um, you know, uh, learn and uh, sort of deal with new situations every day. The way I spend my leisure time at CAM is, and at AMS is, uh, is probably quite different from how I spend it now. Uh, I have two girls seven and two and a half and as you can imagine they have their own way of consuming any leisure time that um, you know we end up getting so uh, a lot of my leisure time is spent with family and you know in COVID times now slowly with friends as well but that's about it um, back in the days and pre-COVID I used to um, run regularly um, and this used to be in the wee hours of the morning which was my special me time. I'm trying really hard to get back to that now that things are normalizing. Uh, in the meantime, I've come to terms with uh, home workouts. I enjoy doing uh, uh, hit and Tabata a bit. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what keeps me energized, so to speak. Not sure if I can uh, call myself an avid reader. And uh, actually now I end up reading and browsing through children's books much more <laughs> than adult books. And for all you new parents out there, uncles, aunts, if you need recommendations, then I'm sure between me and my husband, uh, we can certainly give you some good recommendations um, for children's books. But um, uh, jokes aside, uh, what I do enjoy uh, reading is biographies. I find uh, real life stories to be extremely inspiring. Uh, sometimes they can be, um, you know, more interesting than even fiction, and uh, I connect better to them. And there are several that you know I've I've kind of picked up and enjoyed. But if there's one book uh, that I would recommend, particularly to uh, the women lawyers and the women audience, uh, and if you haven't gotten to it yet is um, Indra Nui's uh, My Life in Full. Uh, it's a very inspiring book, of course, filled with a lot of great determination and uh, sheer hard work. I would urge you uh, not to look at your career, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a very short uh, term. Uh, a career should span a better part of your life which should be across four or five decades. So it's important to um, not miss the woods for the trees. Um, any successful lawyer uh, in the profession today would tell you that um, it's not as if every single moment in their life has just been full of the exciting bits or the exhilarating bits. There's a lot of um, hard work, there's a lot of, um, you know, sweat that goes into building up a career. And most importantly, um, there's a lot of time and devotion that's required. So my advice to all the young lawyers would be to keep at it. 
and uh, give your careers um, time. Setbacks actually help you learn and do better. So do not get uh, demoralized or disillusioned by it. Um, we're at the point in the legal services industry where the world is your oyster. Uh, the scale of uh, the opportunity, the opportunity to contribute meaningfully is limitless. Uh, so go there and um, you know uh, make yourselves a fantastic career.